Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I want to discuss why it's important for you not, no, 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 for you not to make your partner your entire world. Stay tuned. Thank you so much for coming back. So I definitely want to mention my three online courses before we even get started with my opinion today. So I have three online courses, one for each stage of dating, one for my super single people who just need to work on yourself. You need to get a clue when it comes to yourself, what you want, what you need. It's going to give you some structure on how to get yourself together before you enter into the into the dating stages. My second course is for people who are actually in the dating stages. Who would have thunk it? Okay. You are in the dating stages. You need help navigating through the dating stages, what to actually look for, how to um, write your deal breakers list, how to actually stick with your deal breakers list. This one is going to give you the confidence. So when you go out into your dating stages and actually go actively go out on these dates, you can start picking and choosing and plucking them and throwing them away if you need to. Okay. And then the third one is for each and every one of you guys who are actually already in relationships, long term or marriages and you want to add some spice back up into your relationship and bring things back home and be more flirtatious with your guy and maybe even respect them a little bit more who knows okay so go ahead and check those courses out they're absolutely going to help you to create the relationship that you want to have with your spouse it's going to help you create the relationship that you want to have with yourself. And it's also going to help with your presentation of yourself when you go out there into the dating world. Okay, so all of the links are linked down below in the description box below. So go ahead and check those out. Now, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Here's why you should not make your lover, your spouse, your mate, your boo, your world and your life my very first tip is what happens when they shut you out what happens when they get pissed off with you and they feel like making a point and the point is I know you ain't got no friends I know you don't hardly talk to your family no more and guess what now I'm pissed off at you are you the one that's feeling like lonely mm -mm. don't do it to yourself don't give the person opportunity to do that to you. What else is there? Even if it's not your friends, even if it's not your children, or if you don't have children, what is it that makes you, you, and that makes you happy? Is there a goal that you could be working on? Are there some, uh, um, uh, things that you want to that you want to actually do but you have not done them because said boo you want to be all up around boo all the time and because you want to be all up around them they have consumed uh, well I should say you have made them consume you you have made it your life's plan to always be there with them to always do everything with them to always be in their face to always be in their company to always be up under them but what happens when they decide to shut you out what do you do what are the hobbies that you need to incorporate back into your life so not only can you give yourself a chance to breathe you can actually give your spouse a chance to breathe as well that way when you guys come back together you can hee hee and ha ha and figure out what happened in each other's day and experience that same thing through them but what happens if you make them your whole life and they shut you out where do you turn what do you do the second thing why you should not make your partner your world or your life is because what if the relationship doesn't work out then where do you go where do you begin again because you have made them your world you have lost you in the process of making them them your world so what happens 
Now you got to begin all again. Now you got to tuck your tail and go find the friends that you walked away from. Or tuck your tail and find the family that you threw by the wayside. Because everything in your world was about your man. And some of you people out there, you'll even throw your children by the wayside to get close to the guy, to get close to the girl. We got to tighten these things up. We got to tighten them up. The third thing on why you shouldn't make your spouse, your life, your world, because it's unhealthy. It's unhealthy. Because a relationship actually requires two people who are fully sustainable outside of one another, outside of that relationship. You are a full, whole person, even when your mate is not by your side. You might miss them. Okay, that's cool. You might want to see them again. Okay, that's cool. But you're not breaking down when they're not around. You're not breaking down because they decided to shut you out because they mad. You're not mad because they decided to pull away from you for the moment because they need to get their space. They also need to figure out what's going on with them and get their clarification in their mind together. Can't make your spouse, your lover, your mate, your entire world is absolutely unhealthy. Not only for you, but also for them. It's unhealthy. It's actually codependent as well. Now, this one could be a bit tricky because we've also heard that this could be real love, right? But it's codependent. And I already mentioned that two people, the relationship with two people in it has the people, I'm sorry, the people in the relationship have to be fully sustainable outside of each other. So codependency is actually unhealthy as well. The last one is that the other person can feel pressured or even suffocated because they're feeling that they have to meet your needs. They have to be in your company all the time. They can't just walk away and do what they want to do at the time frame that they want to do it. You got to get your own hobbies. Got to get your I'm not I'm actually you can even have your own friends. Really? You can. I mean, y'all can have some joint friends. I'm not knocking that either. But I'm just saying, you can have your own set of friends where you can literally just get away and breathe. You can take the kids out just so you can breathe by yourself. I'm not, am I saying split up the family and always do that? Absolutely not. However, I am saying take the time so you can know exactly who you are outside of your partner. Know what you like to do for fun outside of your partner. And then you will be taking the pressures away from your partner, the pressures away from you guys' relationship. At least some of the pressure, because there's always going to be pressure in our relationships and bringing outside things in, even when we don't think that we are. It's a conscious thing. I'm sorry, it's a subconscious thing that we are doing. And we're bringing some of this unhealthy stuff into our relationships. So does any of this make sense to you? Were you ever this person? <laughs> How did you break away? Do you know somebody who was in a situation like this? If you do, share this video with them because it is unhealthy and they can get the help that they need to get. Or maybe they can even depend on you just a little bit more. Like you don't want to turn into being their um, codependent person, you know, once they try to pull away. But let them understand that it is okay, that this is where you are, and now that you know better, you can do better. I absolutely want to hear what you guys have to say down in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and continue this conversation again, 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 again. Do not forget, in order for me to keep these videos for free, some of you guys, I want to already thank you for supporting the movement and purchasing my online courses, depending on what stage you are in. If you need to do that, you want to absolutely see a difference in your relationship and in yourself. The help is down below. Go ahead and check them out. I will see you guys again in the next video. Deuces.